The following Let's Play has been rated not safe for young children. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were still doing these, uh... Mystery doors. It's taking a while. We have somebody relatively new with us today. We have Lantis and Nixion as usual, but now we also have Sarah's Knight, aka SA, aka the Protector of Beautiful Women. <laughs> hey, <laughs> there he, you go. he knows it. He's got me right. <laughs> so, Lantis and Nixion, I have a theory. You know how originally these doors are supposed to be randomized and during this playthrough they were neatly ordered? Right. I was thinking, maybe that's because instead of having to go through just four of them like in the original, maybe we, we actually do have to go through them all. Huh. Oh, I bet you feel bad for, <laughs> for uh, you know, loading state. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Yeah. So we might need to deck out the player's guide for door number six again. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, I am not in a convenient spot to be able to do that, so uh, not it. <laughs> I'm uh, recording so The way not I'm it. set up right now is I get the mic in the middle of the room, me and SK are sitting uncomfortably close to the mic, and we got the screen up on the big screen, and we're just watching from here. And it looks like on Audacity it might be picking up a little bit of your conversation. I am so sorry. It bet not. Yeah. All right, well, I guess if two out of three people can't do it, then I guess it's up to me. I will try to put this up just in case uh, we have to look for that again. Right. Well, let's hope it's not the case where we only have to do four, in, like all four of them, instead of six. But uh, uh, was it, which one was the last one we didn't do? Five? Uh, we didn't do, we still have to do three and five. Oh. Three is the action stage, and five is the puzzle stage. I think the five one is not going to be, like, uh, walk-through necessary. No, not really. Might be taking notes necessary. Uh, SK, just in case you aren't aware, we are in Bowser's Castle, and uh, it has been overtaken by Smithy and been arranged in such a fashion where it's difficult for us to progress, so... Yeah. That's why Bowser is with so us. So he did because... some unauthorized decoration. Yes. Redecoration. And Bowser's none too happy. About I was about it. to ask you. Share with the ignorant here. Where are we? Bowser's <laughs> castle. This is actually towards the end of the game. We, it, yeah. It, it actually starts. You know how it starts off. You're yeah. So you come all the way around the world, do all that exploration, <laughs> and now we're back here again. So. On that note, I think it's kind of interesting. I thought you did this one. I thought I did this one too. I th maybe it was a copy. Maybe that was room three. Uh, no, I'm sure we did this on the last video. <laughs> I do like the version of Phoenix Downs in this game. Pick me up. <laughs> just, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's it concise and to the point. <laughs> Goodness, when we did this, we did. I I checked the end of the last video and this door was still open. Maybe you loaded state again. Impossible. Ooh, uh, I'm, I'm telling. telling. Yeah, because we were making the Donkey Kong reference here. Oh, yeah. Well, let's get this done quick then. <laughs> Says the person that immediately got hit. So if you also, run out of chances, what happens? You get kicked back out to the main six doors. Uh huh. <laughs> wow. Ugh. So, something has occurred to me that I should have thought of before I started recording. Yeah? Because I plugged in my headset. It might be like Hypercam 2 where it's like, oh hey, you plugged in a new audio device. I'm going to switch to that. Uh, oh. So, I might not be recording game audio right now. Hmm. Oh, that's right. We did go through this, but then I loaded state because it was the super slap, and it's like, oh, I don't want that. Because you oh, only have Peach's right. best weapon, a giant iron cast frying pan. <laughs> oh, well, now we know. We only have to go through four doors. Yep. 
so door number five, last door. Oh, this is the quiz room. Yeah, it's the quiz room. Right. You know what would be really nice? If the questions were changed. Only one because way to find out. I remember most of the questions. Like so one, one of the them questions is about SMB? The game. No, about this game. Mario RPG oh. in general. Like one of the questions is like, what what is the kid in Mary Moore wishing it was? And the answer is ski season. So I remember most of the questions. So it would be nice if the questions are different. And who is snorting? I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> Sorry. That's SK. I got. I'm like kind of stopped up today. Um, you're gonna have a lot of that to pick out. Yep. <laughs> Goomba. It's Goomba. <laughs> okay, what kind of idiot would get that wrong? <laughs> All right, then what's what's this one? How should I know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so these are the same questions. Yes, it is. This is unchanged. What technically uses only three flower pots? Oh, that might actually be different since this is a ROM hack. Was it Geno Bean? No, it wasn't. Uh... Well, back at the beginning. I believe the end is red. Yeah. Famous sculptor in Nimbus Land. Garo. Garo. Booster is what generation? Well, it's not 78. Yeah, it was... 7th. Birdo comes out of... Egg. A basket. <laughs> mowing the lawn on Sundays? <laughs> I ain't mowing the lawn any day. Boscus. Okay, this one has never made sense to me because it's like, what did he turn into? This is the actual translation from the original version as well, but he never turned into anything. He didn't. A he carrot. starts he out a as a carrot. carrot and he ends as a carrot. Pearls. Uh, I remember that episode. I was like, it's pearls the entire time. <laughs> pearls. The answer's pearls. That was a funny gag. So if you get even one of these wrong, do you have to start over? No, no, no. You, you're allowed, like, only, like, three wrong answers, I believe. Something like that. Did he just try to hit you? No, no, he projected... Uh, I always try to count these. Uh, this this uh, tries to see how well you can count in 3D space. Huh. Assuming everything is filled, how many barrels would there be? Well, that's actually kind of interesting. Yeah. But this is gonna change. Like, you get uh, ten seconds to. Ten seconds. <laughs> ten seconds. Uh, Waste of time. Uh, twelve. It's changing. So you you go as soon as the screen turns on, then the ten second counts. Six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen? Uh, yeah, I think it's fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. It gets harder. Yeah. This is cool. I like this. It's like challenging your brain and stuff. <laughs> this isn't a bad game, SK. You, you've got. I, I, I do need to, I do need All to play right. it. Help me count this one. This is going to be pretty difficult. All, All right. right, we got this. Oh, four, gosh. Three times four. Three times That is. Forty-eight, I think. Four, yeah. No, uh, 46, sorry. 46. It's an even number. I counted 44. I got 46. Well, 44 is not an option, so <laughs> let's go with 46. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, up Piece top of cake! cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, oh, and then one. there's this one. I hate this one. Th there was a there was a actual uh, a quest in Borderlands 2 very similar to this. <laughs> trying to find out who, uh, Stole money and whatnot. Swimming, cycling, and a marathon. Right. Alright. Alright, Boo came in third for swimming. Somebody write this stuff down. Not it. 
I think we gotta remember that. Uh, so he's gonna tell us a bunch of facts about the marathon. We're supposed yeah. to find out who placed what and what. Okay, I'm writing. Boo the third. In swimming. In swimming. Oh. Boo that came part's third important. in swimming. Okay, so Goo placed the same in cycling and swimming. So he he did not get third in cycling or swimming since Boo got third in swimming. Yeah, and he came in sec. Uh, and he ca- Goo came in third place for the marathon. Yep. <laughs> Boo and Goo and Bones. Out rode Kip. That would be the fish. Well, how would a fish catch up with you on a bicycle? Yeah, I'm interested to see how anybody but Bones was even able to participate in cycling. (laughs) Well, I can ride a bike with no handlebars. With no handlebars. With no handlebars. You know what I'd like to see? A bike. I have never seen a bike in this game. I don't get it. Uh, it, There's a song. It's... (laughs) Bike race, but ended up uh, in the same place I did in the swimming event. So it was either second or first. It probably got first since he's a cheap cheap. I would imagine. Yeah, I'm sorry if a cheap cheap didn't get first in a swimming event. Well, we know it's not third place because Boo was in third place yeah, for the swimming event. Yeah, and it's event. not last place because he said that he fell in last place, but. Pulled back up. Okay, so he wasn't fourth. At one point, but he did not finish in fourth. Right. Yeah, but he he said he ended up in the same place he did as in the swimming event. And it couldn't be uh, fourth place because Boo was third. Right. So he, he was either second or first. That is correct. Uh, that's correct. Go talk right, to them so we, in the order they came in and returned. So we have to figure out... First off, say say because I don't care. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so I think it was uh, cheap, cheap... Uh, somebody... I think it was boo, cheap... And then the other person... I think it was cheap bones, boo, and goo. All right, keep. Oh no! Oh yeah, we'll show you. Bones is first. <laughs> he told us the answer. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> See how much Dre doesn't care? Uh, I forgot what the rest of it was, so I'll guess. I think that was it. Okay. <laughs> Bones, Kip, Goo, Boo. I don't care if it's cheating. I want to get this game over. I think you did in the wrong order. Did was I? It goo- I hope not. It was Boo Goo, I thought right? It was... Oh, no. never mind. God, X, why you gotta be so dumb? Just <laughs> shut up. We're cheating. It's because he's black, you know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> rock candy. Uh, rock candy. candy. Inventory is, once again, a fool. You can I'm only carry that much in your inventory? Yes. That's it. Oh no, okay, you have at least two pages, but still that's not yeah. that's not much. No. And it, items it, don't stack it's either. Very hard to manage your inventory when you have less space than freaking earthbound. That's pretty I'd, bad. I'd like to see somebody play through this game without having their inventory full. It's impossible. Oh, this star this this save point reminds me. Apparently in one version, one update of this uh, ROM hack, the save point was put in the door room because, my gosh, it takes a while to go through all four doors. 
But yeah. apparently that caused some unfortunate glitches, so it was put back in here. Really? Hmm. <laughs> WTF, mates. <laughs> yeah, that's the first SK scene of that. That's kind of Dre's thing. Alright, here's Magic Kemek, Koopa. Or, I, don't, I, I can't even remember if this is actually Kamek or just generic Magic Koopa. What's the difference? It's generic Magic Koopa. Well, Magic Koopa uh, isn't a character, it's just a type of enemy. Well, he Kamek. was named oh, Kamek in this version. But I'm fairly certain he was just named Magic Koopa in the original. Uh, somebody in comments, please verify. So is this a boss battle? Yes, this yep, is a boss this is battle. A boss in fact, fight. he's already red, doesn't he? Know oh, no, he, while he's quote-unquote possessed, he's red. He turns yeah. blue after So, he um... The original way this fight proceeded is, first off, this guy is a pushover, so midway through the fight he summons an egg that hatches out one of three random enemies. I wonder if that's going to be the same deal here. And he hides behind the enemy. Yeah, oh. I probably should have healed be before I went into this you fight. You have no flower points. Wow. <laughs> wonder what mystery egg does. Uh, nothing. Until nothing you yet. use it. Like you have to use it so many times that then it'll turn into something else. While she has the the tub drain equip. Go Peach, it's your birthday. Wow, three hundred. That's crazy. Ooh. Oh, this game's changed. Sk, like uh, maximum level is level thirty in this game, and by the end of the game, you can only have like what was max HP, Dre? Two hundred fifty-five. Two fifty-five was max HP in this game. It's one of those RPGs that kind of go low in the amount of yeah. numbers. But uh. Yeah, Mario has three fifty-five yeah, right, right now. But this is a ROM hack, and they changed it so that the numbers get a lot higher. Well, probably including enemy HP, right? Oh, that's uh, yes, attack. including enemy HP. Did you fart? No, that was just a chair. Oh. You know I'm not scared <laughs> to claim that. <laughs> hey, Beavis. <laughs> hey, Beavis. Yeah. Try this just for the fun of it. Haven't used it in a while. That's pretty cool. Yeah, all effective. the magic spells have uh, interaction. And you gotta tap something. Yeah, jump is like you have to keep pressing uh, at the same time to keep you gotta doing jumps. Time hit it. You gotta quick time that kind of time hit. Wow, Geno's normal attack is stronger than his uh, Geno beam right well, now. Well, we got his most powerful <laughs> weapon now. All three characters have the strongest weapons in the game, so. Well, I mean. All right. Bowser's Let's see what drill happens. spike is probably a little stronger than speed boost. There's that speed boost again. We still don't know what that does. It boosts uh, speed, uh, duh. Makes you attack more? What? Well, <laughs> Often? I, it doesn't seem to, to be that way. Like, see, Gino went. And he suddenly went. he's carrying a frying pan instead of a star gun? No. Oh, no, you're using it on him. That's the attack you're about to. Okay. Right. I was uh -oh. like, it's kind of interesting how the enemy has armory, too, that you can look at. Ha! <laughs> Not so much. No, that's that's Final Fantasy Tactics, that you can actually look at the enemy's equipment. You can also do that in, like, Disgaea. <laughs> and Wild Arms. Well, items you can steal, anyways. No physical attacks. Uh, what happens if you try to physical attack? Limiter? Oh, it's just that. Shredder. Whatever. Well, let's try a physical attack. Sure. Oh. Oh, Wait. it's like the Bowyer fight. Wait, he disabled the Bowyer fight and then just brought it back now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, apparently. What? Problem? That's... That's... Stupid. An interesting design choice. I, I like this choice. entire time. I thought he took it out because he just didn't like it or something. The fact that he's using it here is weird. He actually told me he didn't like it. But he's 
doing the exact same thing now. <laughs> My voice couldn't get any higher. It was <laughs> you tried. I tried. Would you like in, a wine? In fact, I like the original gimmick where you'd like summon things to fight for them. That was cool. There's some really strange decision making in this thing. Yeah. He's concentrating. Uh oh. Defending. Defending. D defending. Oh, water, water blast! blast. <laughs> nice. So defend reduces damage from magic attacks too? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Although I'm pretty sure that if you put your arms in front of your face, fire is still gonna hurt you just as badly. Mortal Kombat begs to differ. <laughs> <laughs> just sticking your wrist up stop, stops all... Stops guns. Stops all Maelstrom of attacks. Except for Shao Kahn's attacks. Yeah. A, a giant massive half-ton hammer. Well... <laughs> and now we can't use magic. It is the failure fight! Totally. I bet if I started using items a bunch, he'd disable that too. DISAPPOINTED! <laughs> Maybe that'll be the episode name. Oh, there he goes. Wow, that was incredibly easy. And very anticlimactic. Well, it wasn't that hard in the original game either. Oh. No. And now you're. And now you're rewarded with uh, an infinite money chest. Yep. And free heal. And free heal. If that's Kamek, he should totally have a beard by now. An old man's beard. <laughs> I'm in favor of beards. Okay, somebody read this out loud. Uh oh! Kala! Koo! Koo! Pua! Oh, Kala Kapua! Could you at least make it like. Ten coins at a time? Go. Oh. <laughs> no. So you can talk to Ma to Kamek for a free heal, and you got. But Dre is already maxed out on coins, so it really doesn't break the game, giving you infinite money now. Because not honestly, there's not really much left to buy. In fact, I think uh, minus Toad, this is the last shop in the game. Yeah. With our most powerful armor. The heroic shirt. Just go ahead and buy them all. It's not like you can't get the money back. You can get your money back, money back, money back. <laughs> 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 Chili. Come X. I'm surprised. Infinite coin. Why didn't you give uh, Peach the lazy shell? Noble pants. Because that makes her heal, uh, yeah. healing spell weaker. Yeah, it drops her healing ability. No! So Mario wears shirts, Gino Gino wears, wears capes, capes, Princess wears dresses. dresses, Mallow wears pants. What does Bowser wear? Shells. Oh. Yeah, apparently his shell is interchangeable or something. Yeah, I know. Which also coincides with my idea that Bowser should be able to change shells based on how powerful he is. Go from green shell Bowser, red shell Bowser, Blue Shell Bowser with wings. I would buy a Mario game like that. Seeing Bowser fly around with a Tron trail behind him. Why would Smithy have a shop right there in his castle so that that's, you can? That that's that's Croco. He's uh. Oh, he's the the he's the reoccurring bad guy in this game. He's strange. He, at the end of the game, he stops fighting. He's ultra. He you. Oh. So he's infiltrating, kind of. <laughs> It's like all of Mario's former enemies become his friends to tackle on a uh, common enemy, eh? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So is Smithy just that big a dick uh, that even yeah. Koopa helps you? Well, the thing is... <laughs> Bowser? Yeah, well, the thing is, uh, when uh, Smithy came to this world, 
he landed right in Bowser's castle and and I don't like it and basically <laughs> no. just kicked him out of his house. And Bowser, when he ran across Mario, he really didn't have any other like place to go or things to do since he was kicked out of his house. So he found out that Mario's heading to his castle to you know beat up Smithy. He's like, you know what, Mario, I'll let you join the Koopa Troop and we'll go uh, kick him out of my house. So he he quote unquote let you join his party. <laughs> <laughs> and he just joined yours. And Mario's pimp enough to just kind of let him have that. Yeah, yeah, pretty <laughs> yeah. much. He just lets him have it. Speaking of Bowser, I think I'm going to switch to Bowser now. Got a, that one attack to try out that he learned. <laughs> this is so funny, too. Yeah, I'll let you also, join the Koopa Troop. You can thank me later. As, uh, this is what his words was, I believe. This still does one coin at a time. Yep. Well, I think that's the pay that's like the 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 payoff. It's like you can have as many as you want, but you got to sit through it individually, coin at a time. Did you mean to do that? <laughs> yeah, just so ended. Uh, off. you can jump, Dre. Did you know you can jump on them and ride up there to the top, and there's a treasure chest. Yeah, I'll do that as soon as I deal with these guys. Okay, just making sure because you didn't know about that other room the other time. Take that yeah, those... giant cannon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a fry pan can actually, you know, kill off. Well, a... I'm just saying, if it's a giant freaking cast iron pan. Maybe it's a wok. Woks are pretty big. But aren't woks electric? Well, my wife has an electric wok. No, a wok is, you know, normal. Well, I mean. Speaking of wok. Just as a random story, there was this one time my family and I was out camping in one of those uh, trailer parks, right? Right. Like where you get your pop-up camper and you just... Yeah. Right. And, like, my dad came back with this weird look on his face one morning. He's like, I don't know what that guy was doing in the stall next to me. Like, in the shower next to me. He was like, I just kept hearing him go, like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> what? Just, just making that oh, sound. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bowser crush. Of course, as a kid. Uh, worthless. That's okay. I never liked Bowser crush. It's like, I can do more damage with a regular attack. It, it wasn't worth the MP cost to me. Honestly, Bowser's not that great of a character. Um, he's good and for his, just his melee attack, and that's it. Spire. Yep. Yeah, they renamed a lot of the abilities in this ROM hack. Apparently the ROM hacker agrees with this because he totally lowered the cost of Bowser Crush by at least half. Well, I think the original cost was 12 Bowser FP. Smash. Really? I would have actually preferred he increased the power and kept the MP cost the same. Once Do again. again. What does once again mean? Have another turn for free. Oh, cool. It's just a chance to have a free turn. There's a bomb carrying a spork. Uh, it's not really a bomb. No, it's... that's not actually a bomb. Bombs are in the game, however. But I can see how you would confuse that with a bomb. It kind of looks like a bomb carrying a fork. It's actually some kind of ugly fish. I think it's an onion. I think it's Mr. Popo from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Popo. Yeah, he does kind of have that face. Yes, that was the alien thing. Packing order. Packing order. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z bridge. Watch it. Uh. Yeah, I would save my. Why MP. is magic so useless in this game? Except Geno's. And and Peaches. Obviously. Oh, it looked that's to me why... like Peach's healing was rather nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's the party I always use was Geno and Peach. It's, I mean, why? Why would you use anyone else? Peach's healing is actually kind of broken, because it not only heals everybody HP, it also removes bad status effects. Yeah. Huh. And she has the only revive spell in the game. How just gets in there and jacks you up with his claws, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's different types of weapons. All these characters, like, one of his weapons was called the Hurley Glove. You know what you do? 
he would just grab Mario and throw Mario. <laughs> That's it. That's, that, that was the tag. Does Mario agree with that? Uh, it doesn't is, look like he does. But is he, he does cool with that? <laughs> well, he doesn't have a choice, right? He joined the Koopa Troop. He, he Bowser can do what he wants. Pretty much. I would say I quit anyway. <laughs> catchy. It's a catchy song. <laughs> Lantis and I used to rap the winner's theme from Earthbound all the time. Uh, we, we used to, like, in school, just, uh, we would just get the urge to do, uh, music from video games, like, someone would pick up the beat, someone would pick <laughs> up the, 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 the melody, and we just, and, and sometimes we would just, like, divide parts up, like that, one song from Earthbound. Yeah, the Brick Road. Yeah, the Brick Road song. Ha! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I know I know, Ix would appreciate that. Yeah, yeah well, I, I love Brick Road. <laughs> you know, if Earthbound wasn't funny, though, I probably wouldn't like the game that much. Well, that's half the game. Yeah. Literally, that's half the game. Is its humor. Yeah, I mean, it, it allows it to get away, away oh, with gosh. a lot. Like the the game graphically is not that great, of course. Nope. But yeah, in the actually, matter, first time it really isn't that great, nope. is it? But it, but you know that was actually intentional. It was an art. It was art style. Yes. But of course, uh, we had back in 1994, we had um, Final Fantasy VI, and that looked very good. So. Oh my gosh, it looked so good. So people would, you know, it's like, oh, I don't want to play Earthbound. It's all old. <laughs> <laughs> it's all old. It looks all old. It's all amazing though. That game. That game is, is probably my. Oh. Oh, uh, I can't. I want to say it's my favorite hey. game of all time, but Super Metroid also exists. Yeah, it does. I, oh, you I, can I know. Only I have say, one favorite uh, Earth, game of all time. Earthbound is my favorite RPG of all time. Yeah, but you can only have one favorite game. I know. So really, what happened? Oh, Ultra Flame. All right. So let's say that there was uh, a rope tied over a bar, and on one end of the <laughs> rope was Super Metroid, and the other end of the rope was uh, was Earthbound, and they were hanging over a vat. Is this of, like a, is of, this like a ver certain version of a saw acid. trap? <laughs> and, and... You can only choose one? And, and the, there was like, you know, a candle burning it. And you have time to save one and not the other. Also, once that game dies, it takes with it all existence of its software counterparts or emulation. What? So that what? game is essentially gone forever. Oh, don't. Don't call me phone, I'm still <laughs> X is like, don't do this to episode. me. Don't. What, what, game, what game would you sacrifice? Which one would you save? Oh, uh-huh, uh, uh. <laughs> thought there was something up X there. is acting like there's two of his loved ones attached to those ropes. This is like Sophie's Choice. <laughs> if that was a video game. I, I'm just curious. I mean, I, this is all just for conversation, just for funsies. I don't... Uh... <laughs> you really can't do it? I can't... Uh... Yeah, oh, no, you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. Time's running out, Ix. You might lose them both if you don't decide. Maybe that'll be better that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Live or die. You decide. Well, if there the was a treasure up here, it's not up here now. <laughs> I'm leaning towards... Let the games begin! Earthbound. Unless it's invisible. Mm. The reason I'm leaning towards Earthbound is because... Even though... The game is so old, no. I can still... I mean, the humor in it is so... So grand. I mean, Super Metroid doesn't have the same advantage in humor, but it's like... The perfect so, adventure. So you game. would choose Super Metroid if somewhere inside the planet you fought a new age retro hippie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> so I just got the phone call for supper. Ah. So we will be ending this episode, and next time I will be probably fighting the big sword that crashed into the place. Oh, cool! Great. All right. So see you then. Later, people. All right.
Laters.